In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the five gimbal shots that are gonna make all your videos epic. We are gonna start easy and work our way up. Our model Sunny is in place and we're gonna begin with a dolly. You can either pull, like I'm doing right now, or push. Now, the dolly is very common for tracking subjects, like in this case, I'm tracking the model. Same as before, you can either pull or push. Remember to walk with your legs bent and gently on your feet. You can also combine both push and pull for a very epic transition. Next is the slider. In this, we're gonna move side to side, and this is good for revealing characters. In this shot, we are gonna slide the character out of frame to reveal the background. Same as the dolly, with the slider you can track your subject as they're walking. In the Feutech Scorp 2, you can hold the trigger to enter lock mode. Now, you're ready to go. One, two, three, let's go! You can also use a sliding movement side to side for transitions. In this case, as I'm tracking the model, I'm gonna go behind these bushes, completely blocking the frame and starting your next shot by blocking the frame and sliding into your subject. Okay, go! Next is the tilt. You can start with your camera pointing up and tilt down. This is good for revealing your characters. You can also start with your camera pointing up and reveal your characters little by little. You can also use this technique for a transition by having your camera pointing at the model as she comes toward you and you point to the sky. And start your next shot pointing at the sky and tilting down into your subject. Before I show you the next moves, I want to take opportunity to thank Feutech for sponsoring this video. They did not pay me, neither they told me what to say, but they did send me these two awesome gimbals that make this video possible. Scorp 2 and the Scorp Mini 2 from Feutech, they have a very unique design and with some features that you won't see anywhere else. Both of these have this very cool design with this handle that makes it look like a scorpion, hence the name Scorp. But they didn't come up with this design just because it looks good. It's actually very good for holding it for long periods of time since you can use two hands. And it's very practical for low angle shots. I love the LCD touchscreen. It's something, again, that you don't see in many other gimbals, especially at the price of the Scorp Mini 2. Makes it a lot more easy to control all the settings without having to go into the app. Another cool thing about these gimbals is that they have a lot of buttons so you can very quickly access different settings on the fly. But what really separates this gimbal from the rest is the AI. They have an inbuilt camera that can track you at all times and it's actually very impressive. For our next shot, we are gonna do an orbit. I recommend a wide angle lens. I have a 35 millimeters into a full frame. I recommend a little bit wider than that, but that's what I got right now. Now, for this shot, you're gonna get your gimbal with two hands. You can use the scope handle and bend your knees a little and instead of walking forward, you're gonna walk backwards and going all around the model. Make sure to have a constant speed.
Nice variation for the orbit is the spin. For this, we're gonna give the camera to the model and she's gonna spin around while keeping herself in the center. Now, I'm using a little trick here. These gimbals have AI that track your face, so it's a little bit more easy. Our next and final shot is Inception. This is my favorite one. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. For this, we're gonna go into the menu in the gimbal. Now, different gimbals have different settings. In the Fade Tech, it's called Auto Rotate. Unlike some other gimbals, you can set the direction and the speed with a Fade Tech gimbal. Something really cool that you can do with Inception Mode is combine it with the previous shot that we already learned. You can do a dolly push in or push out and combine this shot with a cool dynamic edit. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks again to Feiyutech for sponsoring this video by sending me these two fantastic gimbals. I honestly really recommend these two for any kind of video production. Okay guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you wanna learn next and make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios amigos. Mira, se ve. ¿Qué? Hola, eh. One, two, three. Happy. La, 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 la. Oh, okay, okay, yo. <laughs>